Hey, 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 Aries. This is your sacred scribe here, ready to do your Tuesday, December 2nd to the 3rd intuitive love tarot read or for whenever you see this video. It's when you're supposed to see it. This is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, and North Node. This will not resonate with everybody, of course, but hopefully <clears throat> you guys can get something out of it today. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Write down below there, Aries, if you would, before you leave. I do appreciate it. And thank you so much for all of your likes, shares, and subscriptions. If you guys are interested in a personal reading with me, that way this is more specific to you and your questions and your needs, info is in the description box below. Don't forget to um, hit that notification bell. That way you get notified whenever I upload a video or go live. <clears throat> and comment. Sorry about that, my throat comment please let me know if this resonates with you <clears throat> this kills me in the winter time man kills my throat in the winter time all right so we're gonna get a channeled message from spirit for you Aries, in just one moment but first there's tarot now Aries, what i heard from spirit is that you be the rebel mm -hmm. that's the word i got for you was rebel <clears throat> so what are you being a rebel about aries huh we have the three of pentacles there you are bam the emperor temperance and the ace of wands Ooh, very smooth the Knight of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Very interesting. Okay, let's see what else Spirit has to say for you, Aries. They're saying slay the dragon. Is that... Do you, tell me more. They're saying a loaded gun, a loaded gun. I feel, are you referring to, um, yes. All right, this is what, they're referring to the rebel within you. They're saying slay the dragon. I don't know what you're rebelling against, but maybe you just got to take it down a notch. I'm not sure. Unless that phrase means something else to you. Ascend to a higher level of being, they're saying. So I don't know if you're, they're wanting you to rise above something instead of rebelling. That's hard for an Aries to do. You're ruled by Mars, right? Mars is fire. That's energy. That's action. And for you to slay the dragon, it's like, you'd you'd have to go sort of mm, retreats okay thank you spirits okay so you got a plan stan i can feel it you got a plan stan this involves work <clears throat> it could be love too I, I'm a, even though love is in, well, it's showing up in the Ace of Wands, but it's like, mm, it's, it's sneaking in here. You're, you're beginning something in relation to work, Aries. It's something that you're passionate about. It's something that's creative and you're very excited about it. I feel like Aries, you waited to take action or you will. Okay, this hasn't happened. You're waiting to take action on this because you realize the emperor's wise anyway. So you realize that you needed to heal some things within before you went and pursued this, whatever this is. Okay? Because as you were healing at the same time, you're being the alchemist, right? You're like 
healing in taking that energy and transmuting it to something else, i.e. the Ace of Wands. So tell me, tell me about the Emperor. What are you up to? What are you up to? Yeah. The Death card. The King of Wands. The Eight of Swords. You know what I feel, Aries. I feel like you may have been once up in your head about a situation, this prison of your own making, but I feel like you set yourself free and you rise like the phoenix. This is you, the King of Wands, very passionate, creative, knows how to manifest, goes and gets it. See what you were up in your head about. Okay. This is all being kept secret here. So, <laughs> by virtue of holding this in Aries, it's like it's it's because you're not letting it out in any other way. Maybe you should think about letting it out without telling somebody your secret let that energy out in some way i don't know write it down burn burn whatever you, you write i don't know so some way like that where you don't have to tell somebody your secret because it's all it's it's getting all worked up in your head here but maybe this is what you do with the king of wands because the king of wands is 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 action along with the ace of wands so it's like You've waited to act on this. You held back. And I, I feel like as soon as you sprung into this King of Wands energy to create something, whether this be love or whether this be um, a new endeavor, instantly this is like broken free from. Because it frees the energy. Right, right here the energy is trapped because you're, you're holding the secret back. Okay, so tell me about the Three of Pentacles. Okay. Clarifying the Three of Pentacles, we have the Fool card, we have the Three of Swords, and we have the Justice card. So that's what you're healing from, I feel, a third-party situation here. Karma is being played out. But you're learning to let shit go. You're, I, I feel like you're realizing how it does serve you to release it and not hang on to it. Tell me about the temperance card. Five of Cups, Six of Swords, yeah, and Two of Swords. See, this is clarifying temperance. This is what you're healing from. You're looking for peace, right? You're healing over the guilt, the sadness, the, you know, just the relationship on a whole. Getting yourself out of this stalemate position. What do I do? Where do I go from here? Yep. Well, you do. Set yourself free, that's for sure, Aries. Clarifying the um, Ace of Wands, the Eight of Cups, the Five of Swords, and, oops, oh, that's the Six of Pentacles, okay? Yeah, you're leaving whatever this relationship was with the third-party situation. Third-party doesn't have to mean romantic. It can mean anything, any third energy that comes in between but you walk away from it to pursue something else that you're passionate about because it was it, there was fighting there was drama there was i don't know somebody making decisions that didn't quite serve them so is there i want to see if there's anybody 
associated with this Ace of Wands for you in love? Any new love for Aries? Let's see. Let's see what's on your mind. Because I see the um, creation of something as far as work or hobby. Clarifying the Ace of Wands, the Seven of Wands, the Ten of Wands, and the Page of Wands. Wow. Yeah, I feel like you get out of dodge. If this was a third party situation, you're like, nope, I'm, um, I'm out of here. With the Page of Wands, there's optimism about the future. So you, you start working hard towards your goal, whatever this is you're creating. So you're working. But you're running away from this other individual. Because you see them for who they are now. Okay. So. Anybody new in love? <laughs> Still sort of segueing into. Oh, you're going to have options, Aries. Okay. You're going to have many options, seven of cups and seven of pentacles, and you're going to have a connection to the divine. So tap into this energy here. They may come back and try to apologize this third party situation from the past. I don't think you're going to really entertain it because I feel like you're focusing on you. you you've got that. You've just got that focus. You've got that focus on your goal. And you're like, nope. You don't do distractions. You don't look backwards, right? The emperor, okay? Page of Pentacles. Yep. That's the, that, that's that spark, right? That's that spark that um, you're feeling towards this uh, endeavor here, Aries. Advice for Aries. Advice for Aries. What's going on? Stay connected. We are all born connected to spirit, often known as the divine source. Yet many of us have a tendency to pull away from their, that connection as we journey through life in the physical world. Now is an important time to reconnect to the source. That's what I was just saying. You're going to have a um, very clear connection with source right now. Okay? So connect. All right, Aries, I hope this resonated. I hope it made sense. Please drop a like below, share, and subscribe if you already haven't. If you're interested in a personal reading with me, that way this is more specific to you and your questions and your needs. Info's down in the description box below. Don't forget to comment as well. Let me know if this resonates. I want to hear from you guys and click that notification bell. That way you get notified whenever I upload a video or go live. Have a fantastic day, Aries, and I will catch you on the flip side tomorrow on the dailies. Namaste.